All right, I am back. This time looking at a Matchbox 5 pack. Not just a Matchbox 5 pack, two Matchbox 5 packs. I found both of these at Target. It is the Coffee Cruisers and the Autobahn Express 5 packs. They're actually called Autobahn Express 3 and Coffee Cruisers 3. This is the third time they've done a five pack like this. So I'm going to start with the um, the Coffee Cruisers five pack. Um, I found these, like I said, I found them at Target. I also saw a uh, Jungle Cruisers pack. I debated on getting it, ultimately didn't. It was like, I think it was an unlicensed model in it. Re-release of a Land Rover that was in, I think, Mix 3 of the mainline this year. And it was a Raptor. I think there was a, there was a wagon. It was like a Chevy or a Ford. I don't remember which casting it is exactly. And then the uh, Jeep, Jeep MB, which was actually really cool. I'm trying to get this thing open. Don't worry, guys. It's a water water base blister coat. It's okay. All right. I'm gonna go model by model, starting off with the 1964 Austin Mini Cooper. Reason why I'm starting with this is because it's a repeat. It was released in the Retro series this year in white. So it's literally the same. It's got the front detailing and the top is printed in black. Nothing on the back, nothing on the sides. It's pretty cool in white. It's a rehash though. It's the only rehash in this pack though, but Still, it's a rehash. Matchbox has been doing a lot of rehash models. Uh, I know like retro series and Walmart sets, a lot of those have re-release models. But the, the rest of the, these four are not repeats. Like this one, the, uh, the, uh, it's the 1975 Chevy Caprice. This is a 2019 mainline debut and Oh my gosh, this version is awesome. This might be the best version. Some metal flake on the side right here. It's just it just comes straight off. Might be from the VUM Chrome. But does it have a chrome bait? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, the the back's like all warped right here. The VUM Chrome's like gone wrong there. It's fine though. Not a big deal. It did get the chrome base though, which makes it look really cool. It's in an electric blue, which I love this color. It's a very nice color and it has the side trim on it and that's it. I, this casting's awesome. And this color, this might be the best version just cause I love this color. I love this electric blue. I think it looks really awesome. Yeah, there's the uh, Caprice. Might be my favorite one in this pack. Next one is the uh, Corvette T-Top. This casting debuted, did I mention when the Mini Cooper debuted? It was in 2009. I don't think I did. I have like a note sheet off to the side and I might forget to say something. I guess I just didn't care because it's a re-release. This model debuted in 1982 and was retooled last year. And here it is in kind of a goldish color with flames on the side and red five spokes. Pretty cool. Not really often you see Matchbox do a, a, a like a Corvette with flames. That's typically a Hot Wheels gig, but uh, Matchbox is doing it. They did it last year with this uh, castings release, which was in a nine pack. Here it is, Corvette T-top. Not bad, kind of weird though. It's very weird seeing something like this from Matchbox just because it's more, it feels more like a Hot Wheels thing, but uh, here, here's Matchbox. All right, next up is the 35 Ford pickup. This is, uh, this model debuted in 2019. And this version, this version's really nice. It's got like some gold, like trim, like the motor and the grill is gold and the bed. Basically the big interior piece. And it's in an emerald green, mismatched wheels on it. This thing is awesome. What does it say on the side? Coffee. It says Coffee Cruisers and then Los Angeles, California on the bottom. 
pretty nice. I like the, I really like the color on this one. This one's just a cool color. Very nice emerald green. Nothing on the back. Just a side deco. Which is the case for most five pack models. They only do two passes. And the last one is the 1968 Dodge D200. This casting's a 2019 debut. I think I have every version. I think. I would have pulled them out, but I didn't really think about it. There's been, uh, but I remember there's like a green, there's a blue, there's a black, there's a Skyjacker, there's a like an orange kind of racing livery. And this one's a Matchbox Motorsports in white with some side striping. So it goes from red, orange to yellow, which looks awesome. Only the side graphics, nothing on the front, nothing on the top, nothing on the back. Just the side. I This might be my favorite one. Th just because I really like this casting. And I think this version is pretty cool. I like the deco on it. But uh, I might give it to the Caprice. That's the first five pack. There they are. I might have to give it to the Caprice. This is the best one, I think. This one's a close second, but uh, that Caprice in electric blue, that is literally electric. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move these out of the way. I'll put them over here real quick while I get out the second pack which is the Autobahn Express 5-pack. The third installment. They've done three of these. I think I've bought all three of them. Didn't bring them out because I don't want to go digging through all my bins for them. It's just not worth it. This one came off a lot nicer. There they are packaging over here and I'm just going to go from top to bottom first one is the Porsche Panamera uh, this casting debuted in the in 2011 and it actually got a retool in 2018 and from what I can tell it's just a simplified interior so they can put it together more easily and this version's awesome I love the blacked out wheels on it as a train a freight train just thunders by in the background I love the blacked out wheels. It's in a matte white, which just looks clean, clean, clean. Front deck. Oh, actually, technically top, because I think that's a top pass. I think they go along the top to print on the headlights and the Porsche emblem. The back. That's a nice one. That That's a really nice one. And now there's a, there's a plane going by. I, I love living right below a flight path and train tracks. I think that's really awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. That's the first one. Second one is the BMW M5, M5 Police. It's a 2015 mainline debut. And this is actually its third release in Polizii livery. And uh, this one's pretty cool. No back, no front. It got the hood printing on it decal and the side not bad not bad m5 police car it's a nice casting all these castings are actually pretty nice um let me switch this around all right and the next one is the volkswagen golf GTI is a 2006 mainline debut and this one actually might be a re-release I can't for sure tell because they did do a 2008 version of this in orange and I think this might be the same color um however I think the um the graphics are updated like the the rear because it, it has the rear and the front detailing I think the gra the tampos are more sharper on this version than the 2008 version but I think the color is exactly the same, if not very similar. I think the maybe the first version might be a tad darker. This is a very like bright orange, but this might be an, another re-release. Don't know for certain, but from from images I was looking at, it is very possible. Can't confirm though 
for sure. What I do know is that the graphics are more sharper. All right, the next one is the Opal Speedster, 2003 mainline debut. And um, this one's an interesting little casting. They did it in a gunmetal gray matte clear coat with some gold. It's kind of gold uh, wheels on it. Don't exactly know what to call them. It's just got the back. That's interesting, actually. Did not notice, notice about this casting, but uh, the back here actually says, actually says Speedster in the uh, casting. Like it's the license plate. That's actually really cool. It's actually like, I don't know if you can see that. See a little bit, but it actually says Speedster in there. Oh, there goes my paper. Oh gosh, the wind, the, the breeze is coming in. Um, yeah, it's got the front detailing too. This is a neat little casting that I have a car that I did not know existed because I don't know if these are sold in the US. It's left hand drive, so maybe they were. I don't think I've ever seen one, but this one's a pretty cool, this is a pretty cool uh, version of it. And then the last one is the uh, Mercedes-Benz Unimog U300. 2007 mainline debut, and uh, yeah, it's got some white wheels on it. What does that say on the side? Rannick? Rannick equipment? It looks like it just got the side detailing. Yeah, it did. It just has the side and that's it. So it's got the sides of the bed here printed in orange. Stripe down there and some simple graphics. Not bad. This casting is actually pretty cool. It's assembled very, very well. Um, I dig it. Maybe my least favorite, just because, I don't know, but it's still a nice casting. And that is the Autobahn Express 5-pack. Very nice one. Really like the Panamera, really like the Opal. Um, Coffee Cruisers really like the Capri and the, the D200. Not, not a bad pair of 5-packs. Um, you know, I'm trying to find some more stuff in store. I'm trying to get, like, Earth vs. Surf and more uh, stuff like that, so just to put out more content, but it's a little slow right now, but uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.